Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. On October 28th, we celebrate the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Today, we have the wonderful story of blind Bartimaeus. This is a story about vocation, and it's a story about you and about me. The word vocation comes from the Latin word vocare, meaning to call. And so we find that the vocation of the Christian, the call of the Christian, is to follow Christ. And today we find that we are supposed to follow Christ with courage, with audacity, with bravery. So the details. Bartimaeus is a blind man sitting by the walls of Jericho. To the biblical mind, Jericho represents a sinful place. Remember the Israelites crossed over through Jericho into the Promised Land, they had to defeat Jericho. And they did that by blowing the trumpet, walking around the city with faith, and the walls came tumbling down. We find that faith is what conquers, not violence and war and injustice. So Jericho represents sin. Now you have a blind man, blind physically and blind spiritually. He cannot see God and does not know God's ways, and he's sitting beside the sinful city. And even worse than that, we see a little detail that Jesus walked by, and he was walking on the way, and Bartimaeus is sitting beside the way. The early Christians were called the people of the way. They learned the way of God. They learned the way of Jesus. That's the way you and I are trying to learn how to live and follow and imitate Christ. Well, poor Bartimaeus is sitting beside the way. He's not yet living that way. When we respond to our vocation, we learn and find the way to follow Jesus. The great thing about Bartimaeus is that he is a beggar. Beggars know they need help. One of the fears that I see in our culture and in our church is apathy, complacency. Many people are just satisfied with what they have and don't yearn for more. The deepest yearning we have is for more. It's an eternal yearning. So don't be apathetic. We are beggars. We know we need help. We know we call out to God. Jesus stops and he tells his disciples, call him. This is the only time in Mark's gospel where Jesus stops, because normally he's running around from here to there. And this is the second time that we hear the word to call used in the gospel. First, Bartimaeus calls out, Lord Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And now Jesus stops and he tells his disciples, call him. Jesus is more persistent in calling us than we are in calling out for his help. Jesus is persistent. He loves us and longs for us. He wants us to know our vocation. So the disciples told Bartimaeus, Jesus is calling you. Then they say, get up. The Greek sense here is to be bold and be audacious, to be brave, to dream big. This is what happens when you know your vocation. You see, the vocation is we live according to God's way, not my way. God's dream, not my dream. And God's way and God's dream is always going to be bigger, more audacious, more beautiful, more bold, more life-giving than you can ever imagine. If you never listen to God's call for your life, you'll never know about that wonderful way that God is calling you to.